if it's not coincidence, uh, then it describes for us, uh, again, at this point, strictly by speculation and, and allows us to make a number of hypotheses, that there is an endogenous hallucinogen neuronal system, that DMT probably pay, plays a very important role in the regulation and function of that system, both in normal perception and regulating perception perhaps on a daily basis, secreted at low levels in the brain or perhaps even higher levels in specific brain areas, to regulate how we go through the process of perception. And that by altering the levels of these compounds through changes in physiology, anything from simply reverie, uh, you know, being in a, a very tranquil state, meditation, uh, being in uh, other states of altered physiology due to disease or uh, alteration even in respiration rate uh, from strenuous exercise like dancing or whirling or, or doing other events can also lead to alterations in, in brain levels and to experiences of what we have come to know as mystical states.